Look what I got! Look what I got! Girl Scout cookies! Let me get your Girl Scout, Girl Scout cookies! Let me get your Girl Scout, Girl Scout cookies! Let me get your Girl Scout, Girl Scout cookies! Let me get your Girl Scout, Girl Scout cookies! Now back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is Monday and I just got home from work and there's a whole power outage on my entire block. <laughs> so <laughs> it is definitely bedtime. Like I'm going straight to bed. Thank God, like I was charging my phone at work and while I was driving here but hey thank god shout out to the flashlight on my other phone shout out to having two phones okay but there's a whole power outage this is crazy I'm so happy I did my laundry yesterday and I got most of my like my house stuff then yesterday but yeah what a way to start the week what a way what a way but usually these are like by the time we wake we wait by the time we wake up usually like power is restored but this is how bad the storm has been i'm surprised it didn't hit us like harder over the weekend because today wasn't even that bad like it didn't rain all day today it wasn't as strong like it really drizzled today it didn't really like pour down like it was the whole weekend stay safe if you're in la trying to get through the storm child one day at a time somebody asked me um today and there was like anything good to look forward to i said yeah summer because <laughs> this is ghetto this is ghetto but yeah guys tcyl i'm going to bed So I just left work and I was talking to my client. I was like, mm, let me move for some crab legs. I haven't had crab legs in a minute. And this LA weather just got me messed up. All sorts of messed up. I'm over it. It was snowing again early this morning. It was just ghetto. Like, like y'all saw on Monday, there was a blackout in my building. Where they do that at? But anyways, I am headed to go pick up my homegirl, China, and we are going to get some crab legs. We're going to the spot called The Boiled Daddy. I've had it once. I ordered it on um, Instacart one time. And yeah. It was really good. So we about to head over there. I haven't seen my sis. We about to head over there. Have some boils. I'm so excited. I haven't had a boil in a minute. And that's like one of my favorite things. Just like horrible weather make you guys feel away. Let me know in the comments below. Because I'm just like. The weather lately is just put me in a funk. Like, I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to work. I don't want to do nothing. I just want to sleep, eat, and that's it. Not even, yeah. But, like, I haven't even, and I've been doing good with cooking, but I was just like, I don't feel like cooking today. And I was supposed to go to the farmer's market today, but I didn't get a chance to because I had a client. So, I'll probably end up going on Sunday. 
but what I have done this week though I did like a major major cleaning in my apartment and I've just been rearranging stuff I even like got some new stuff on Amazon so that's what I've been doing the past few days um and I I want to order some more stuff too I'm gonna wait because I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna put things together um, I don't want to say this is spring cleaning I don't know I'm just like trying to make do with what I got I'm gonna do the best I can with what I got mm -hmm. but I like the way it's coming so far um yeah because I have a studio and it's really hard getting things together because you don't want it to look too clustered either so it's like getting stuff that makes sense and that's not gonna make it look like you got mad stuff all over if that makes sense all right guys see you tomorrow. hey guys <laughs> today is thursday so don't be mad, but I totally forgot to vlog for yesterday. I just haven't been in a mood to vlog. I really haven't been in a mood to do anything, really. Um, I've been focused on rearranging my apartment. But other than that, I don't feel like doing anything. I don't even feel like leaving the house. I've just been so tired. And I think it's also the weather. It's just been draining my energy. But today, we got a little bit of sun. So I'm going to try to head out get a few things done and then crawl right back inside the house in the bed but right now we're putting gas which is all expensive but it is what it is um i am probably gonna go to walmart target i think that's about it i'm about to go get me some matcha it's march by the way i'm no longer on my coffee fast i guess you want to say starbucks fast whatever it is so yeah i'm about to get me some matcha because i've been craving matcha and this is a new spot that i want to try so yeah by the way the price of gas is ridiculous 50 dollars just to fill my tank this is crazy i'm over it y'all this this is so good this is the roseberry matcha and they put boba in it it's so good and this is this, the place is called alfred's there's two locations um there both of the there's two locations both of them are on melrose but there's a regular Alfred's and then there's the Alfred's Tea Room. So I went to Alfred's Tea Room and they said this location, they give more variety. They have more variety of different types of matches compared to just the regular Alfred's. But the lady was telling me the regular Alfred's, they have more pastries and more breakfast stuff. But this right here, this is so good. This ain't got nothing on no Starbucks, y'all. Like, it has, like, a sweet berry flavor to it. It's not overbearing. And at first, I didn't want the boba. But when she gave it to me, she was like, oh, did you, you want to try the boba? She gave it to me on the side. And I was like, ooh. Because sometimes boba can be drying. But... 10 out of 10 would recommend Alfred's. Get you one of these. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna learn how to make this. Mine is the, the boba. Cause 
Because it's just as good without the boba. So bad. I really hope the weather continues to stay like this, really, because I'm so tired of the rain, the wind, the snow. Luckily, I haven't witnessed the snow, but it has been snowing in California, like by where my shop is there was like snow my client was telling me yesterday there was snow flurries in the morning so I didn't really witness it because I saw her later in the afternoon and then um when I was driving to work yesterday I did see like the mountains it was just white so of course that's from the snow I never realized how much I never realized how much the weather can drain your energy until now. Like I've never really been one of those people who gets impacted from the rain or just like nasty weather. And I think it's also because I'm from New York. I'm used to it. You know, we get rain, we get snow. Those we actually enjoyed it really, but again, it never really lasted that long, bro. It's been raining since December. Luckily, I wasn't here when it was raining in December because it was like rain during the holidays. It was raining around like Christmas and New Year's. But when I got back, it's so funny because the day I got back. There was like little bits of ice falling down. It was like slush. Now come to think of it. Now it's just been raining. No, it really had not to think about it, bro. It really has been raining. Like ever since I've been back and I came back the first week of January. It's just been raining like nonstop. It don't rain like two days in a row, pouring raining. When I say like backsplash from the other cars getting on my windshield, I could barely see. It's been so bad. Um, wipers is on the highest setting and still can barely see. Got the high beams on. It's been so bad. Then it'll like we'll have like one or two days where it's not raining but it's just cold and it's windy and then it'll drizzle another day and then it pick up right back up or you think it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a cold windy day and then it just starts pouring so That's been pissing me off. And it's just like enough is enough now, bro. And you know what's crazy? Because this is big. Like, this is a big size first. This is a small. Because they have two sizes. And this was the smallest one. And this was the same price as it would have been at Starbucks. Six dollars. But it had flavor in it. It wasn't just plain matcha. Cause you know, child, God forbid you add a flavor to it at Starbucks, it's gonna be 10. After the add-ons, and it was macadamia, um, macadamia milk. I never even knew that existed. But I didn't taste it at all. Cause they didn't have soy milk and oat milk and coffee is not really the best to me because it just it just starts to overpower it and then all you taste is the oat milk um 
and then almond milk I'm not the biggest fan of almond milk it's the consistency I feel like that's too overbearing and that's just having it alone like oat milk I can have it alone but almond milk I can't have it at all it's just nasty to me coconut milk I mm -mm. I don't know what they be doing in the factories when they make it, but they just need to chill on the oat and the almond. But this macadamia, because she said, yeah, the macadamia is like in between oat and almond, and it's not too overbearing of a taste. I want to find macadamia milk in the supermarkets. I wonder if they sell it in the markets. If you know, comment below and let me know, please. Because macadamia might just be that thing. It just might be it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Y'all, let me tell y'all what YouTube did. They took down my Valentine's Day video. I'm so upset. Because I love that video. I feel like out of all of my vlogs, that was my favorite one. Like, you really, you guys really got to see, like, the real me. Like, goofing around, acting a fool, being with my peoples, being with my friends, my LA friends. Like, and of course, there's going to be more to come. But it's just still annoying though, you know? Like, why would you do that? And somebody told me it was probably because we had clips of the Super Bowl playing on there. It probably was a mixture of the Super Bowl and the music. I didn't, I didn't cut the music short enough. Copyright. A whole bunch of a whole bunch of copyright issues. If someone had told me this happens, I don't think I would have ever vlogged. I don't think I would have ever started this. But now it's like I can't quit now, you know? Can't quit. I can't quit. I can't take a break. And the reason why I say I can't take a break is because I just started, you know? And every video. I love making ice. Every video that I post, my subscribers go up. My watch hours go up. So it's like, I want to go. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm trying to get to 10 million subscribers. I'm trying to get, you know, I'm trying to get monetized. I'm trying to get paid out here from YouTube. So it's like, you can't quit and somebody told me that I have to be consistent for at least six months to a year before I see before I see results so I'm trying to do better some weeks I don't want to vlog. I don't want to put a camera out. And then others, weeks, days, I'd be ready to, you know, do this, this, this. But, um, I can definitely say I'm trying. So y'all gonna get some boring videos and then y'all gonna get some happy videos. But this, that's just my life. <laughs> Every week is different. Every day is different. You know? That's just that. That's that on that. So, yeah, guys. We finna see. Alright. See you tomorrow. 
All right, y'all. I'm at Ikea. Hopefully, I find something here um, for my apartment. Um, yeah. Let's see. Wish me luck. Hey guys, so I just got home. I ended up having to go to work, did my client's hair, and then I went to Home Goods and Marshalls and Ross because they were literally right next door to each other. So I ended up going there, got a few stuff. Um, one of my Amazon packages came. I got a good amount of stuff from Ikea too. I'm going to run through a few of the things that I bought today, which I'm super, super, super excited about. Disregard the mess back there. Like, I'm rearranging everything. I'm in the process of throwing stuff away while I'm getting new stuff. So just disregard that, okay? And as I'm, like, taking this stuff out, I'm like, oh, I got some nice stuff. So let's start with these two cups that I got from Ikea. First of all, let me just say, I'd be forgetting Ikea even exists. And the price range for them for the price range for their stuff like these glasses were i believe 2.99 3.99 i love to make myself some cocktails so this is definitely gonna be cute when i make my cocktails um there was another one that i wanted but i didn't see it there but i was like these are cute and these are it said that these are multi-use glasses which is perfect because that's what i want for my cocktails they're so cute. I love the short stem. And then I got some margarita glasses. These were $5.99. And I only got two of each because it's just me. I don't really have that much space. And let's see if I do good with them because I'm known to break glasses. Like I had four long stem wine glasses. Broke all of them. So... It was the red wine glasses. That's why you guys keep seeing me drink red wine out of a white wine glass. Because I don't have no more red wine glasses. But it's alright though because I got them today. And they're so cute. I think short stem is like the new thing now. Because, hey, baby, look at this. I wish I had more energy to give you guys. Look at this. This is so cute. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. This, and it, this is so cute. And it came in like a set of four. Came in a set of four. Um, do I remember the price? No. So this was $20. And then I got some jars. This was $5.49, so I'm going to put pasta in here. Um, I already have one up there that has rice. So this one, I'm going to put my pasta in. Um, I got this one. 
I'm going to put um, like my lasagna or spaghetti, whichever or I think I have lasagna up there right now. So like this is just for the longer pasta and that's for the shorter pastas. Um, this one, I believe, was $5.99 too. $5.99. This one's $5.99. Picture. And these are all glass. I don't do plastic. All glass. This was $15. <laughs> and I love the little cork top. <laughs> this was $8.99. And then I got a desk but i'll um after i put it together i'll show you guys but i got the desk for a really good price the desk was 35 dollars, and i got this trash bin for the bathroom ten dollars it was in the as is section ten dollars but um that was ikea let me tell you guys a little tidbit so when you go to ikea and you go to the showroom has all this stuff right right before the register there's that big area with all the aisles that has all the stuff for you to actually get that you saw in the showroom there is more stuff down there than there actually is in the showroom so what i did was i had taken a picture of the stuff that i saw in the showroom and i went down the aisle whatever and as i was going down the aisle i literally saw other items that weren't in the showroom for a cheaper price so that's how i ended up finding this table for 35 dollars because that table they had other versions of it in the showroom and it was like 65 and up and i saw that one and i looked it up online and it was literally perfect because it was a perfect size that i wanted it i didn't want it too big i didn't want it too small and it was the color that i wanted white literally $35 I said who winning so yeah um what's next um we could do so I went to Ross <laughs> that was not on the plan but it was right there um I got me some coffee from Ross so we're gonna see it's toasted graham never had it before but we'll see it was $3.99 can't beat that I got me some new um cooking utensils and this was $5.49 for some reason like when you go to like home goods and TJ Maxx and Marshalls each look each store has different price ranges because when I went to home goods they had just the bamboos they didn't even have the the rubber ones they just had the bamboos and it was like seven eight dollars right and then every store i went to the price went down more and more so first i went to home goods it was like eight nine dollars and then i went to marshall's it was seven eight dollars and then i went to ross because there was no tj maxx and then i went to ross 5.49 and it came with you know extra spoons and then even this one like both of these separate were like three four dollars each this alone was both of these together were four dollars i got a peeler i literally saw the same exact peeler at home goods that was right i know at marshall's i'm sorry i literally saw the same exact peel at marshall's again that was right next door for six dollars and i got this for four dollars 3.99 and i got a lemon squeezer 8.99 perfect and i was like i really don't care about the price because i just love the way it looks it's so cute and sexy mm. it's the way for me the silver for me oh, i totally forgot about this i got a lunch bag y'all know i've been doing good with like cooking and all that you know i'll like meal prep for like the next day or two so i got me a cute little lunch bag and it's perfect because it could fit like my drinks in it and it has a handle because the one i have now it doesn't have a handle and i really took that from my friend loki she left it in my car that's what happens when you leave shit in my car it belongs to me now thank you girl but um yeah it's so cute and 
it was only eight dollars all them other ugly ones or girly ones it was more expensive and i didn't like it and then i got these coasters i literally saw them as i was like headed to the register and they were only 5.99 at ross they're so cute and they're heavy too they're really heavy which is what i like everything glass baby all right what else um oh i got these pillow covers from ikea as well these were 2.99 each i was like let me try it out if i don't like it i can return it um and it's good and it's actually good i gotta iron it i gotta wash and iron it but it fit because i was like i don't i didn't want to get new pillows so and i found these they're perfect it goes with the colors that i want like i'm trying to just have all neutral colors since my couch as you can see is blue so everything else is just neutral i'm really a neutral person as you can see my shower curtain in my bathroom i literally just rewashed that shower curtain and put it right back up i love that shower curtain um so yeah i love the neutral colors it just makes everything pop out especially in a small space the lighter colors just makes everything look bigger makes the room look bigger so i really like that um oh yeah i got this rug I got this rug and this rug was only $13 and I'm going to put it by my closet. So it's pretty, you see that? And it's pretty big too. Like, you see? It's pretty big. So I'm going to put it by my closet. It's nice. I was like $13? Child, you would have spent like thirty dollars at Home Goods for that. Okay, um, I think that's it. That's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna put all this stuff away. Um. Oh yeah, I did want to show you guys my um my little what is it? My um my stuff that I got from Amazon this week. What did I get? So I got these from Amazon, right? And um, I don't know how to get the lotion to go down because I don't like the way that looks right there, but whatever. So I got these from Amazon and they came with like different labels with different fonts, but I really like this one. Um, so I attached the fonts on there like that. These were so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy I got this. And then I got this wooden bamboo tray as well from Amazon. And I think it's so cute. It's simple and it's cute. Like it goes perfect with the aesthetics. Like no matter what, like it's gonna go. I love it. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Um, I'm gonna leave the link down below on these items because you two should have this it's adorable i think it's so cute but yeah guys so that is it for my little haul my little home home house home decor haul whatever you want to call it <laughs> but yeah i got some good stuff i'm excited to put everything together put everything away so I'm probably going to end up doing that. But I will keep you guys updated on this home decoration rearrangement thing. And then, yeah, I'm excited. I cannot wait. All right, guys, I'm out. I'm out this piece. I will see you guys later. TTYL.